Talking about money can be difficult and even sometimes downright embarrassing if you think you should know something and you don't. Exactly. Our money expert is here today to answer three financial questions that many of you are too embarrassed to ask. Bruce Helmer joins us now. I love this because I have been that person where I'm like, I have a question, but I don't know if it's something that everyone else knows. <laughs> yes. I'm just not talking about. So this is great. Good morning. Good morning. That's what this is, Bruce. It's just that people don't want to seem dumb. Yeah, nobody nobody wants to look dumb, and and so and and if if someone has a particular question, it's likely that other people have the same question. It's just that nobody wants to be the first one to say so. <laughs> all right, so well we we're not yeah person. we're not afraid to look dumb here at all. Let's start with embarrassing question number one. It's a, a kind of specific question. How much? should I save in my 401k? I think the thing that embarrasses people is if they're not participating and mm -hmm. they know they should be mm -hmm. and they're embarrassed to admit it. In terms of how much, that's gonna be driven partly by the cash flow that you can afford, but I encourage everybody to at least participate to the extent that you can to get the maximum matching employer contribution mm -hmm. if there is one. So for most people, you're talking what? Five or six percent? I would say, because if the match, let's say a lot of plans that I see, the match might stop at five or six percent. So mm -hmm. if I do six and they do 50 cents on the dollar that's another three that's a 50 percent rate of return that's too much money to leave on the table if you can help it good embarrassing question number two how do I balance paying off debt and saving for retirement and again I think the embarrassing part is people never want to admit how much debt they have sure. or if they have balances on credit cards and whatnot and again here we look at the cost of the debt and is it efficient debt or inefficient debt? So Some the, debt is good. Yeah, so if the debt, if, if it's a low interest rate amortized over a long period of time mm -hmm. and it's tax deductible and it's on an appreciating asset, I just described a mortgage, that's good debt. But sure. if it's high, de high interest rate, non-deductible, bought something I didn't really need and I just wanted, credit card debt, that's bad. We want to pay down that debt. And if that debt's gone, then we have money left for saving and investing. Yeah, like, well, I have a car loan. The interest rate was only like 3%. And a car so loan. So I feel like I can get yeah. better return investment. Car loan is, you know, again, it's a depreciating asset. As soon as you drive it off yeah. the lot, it's worth less. So you don't like to finance those things. But most of us don't have enough money to just write a check out for a right. car. So we right. have to finance yeah. that. What about student loan debt? Student loan debt, again, you, you did something to improve yourself, mm -hmm. make yourself more employ employable, or command a higher salary. So it's good debt. But again, the interest rate sometimes is not so good. And can you find a way to lower the interest rate? What we do with a lot of our young people is maybe mom and dad you do an intra-family loan mm -hmm. they borrow you money at a lower rate and pay off the loan mm -hmm. for you but they're getting a higher interest rate than the bank will give them and it's a win-win and it's not a it's not a handout it's smart for both parties let's do embarrassing question number three Bruce, what should I invest in? <laughs> give me, give me a stock. Right now. What do you got, Bruce? People, should it be stocks? Let's do this bad money stock. <laughs> what am I doing? So for most people, and again, you look at your 401k plan. If you don't know how to buy a stock or how to buy a bond or whatever, you, you buy a diversified portfolios, professionally managed, called mutual funds that have stocks and bonds in them, or just stocks or just bonds, and you and you turn over the, most of the heavy lifting to somebody else. Okay. Sounds good. All Nothing right. embarrassing about it. Nothing no. embarrassing. Thank you. Thank you can you. see Bruce right here on Mid Morning each Tuesday and get more financial advice on his show, Your Money, on WCCO Radio. Tune in Sunday mornings from 8.30 to 9.30.